Postpositive adjectives in English happen when we put the adjective after the noun. Remember that in Romance languages as Portuguese, French, Spanish, it is very common to have the noun and then the adjective. For example, um livro difícil, right? But in English, this is pretty rare. We would never or almost never say uh, book difficult, right? But in English, we have some cases where it happens. Uh, well, we can have it in fixed expressions like God Almighty, uh, expressions from the Romance languages. But uh, I want to talk about the archaic uh, post positive. Uh, what is it? In some in cer certain cases, mainly in poetry, we have this inversion mainly to fit the metric of the poem. Uh, in the Divine Comedy, it, this um, tool uh, device is quite used. For example, just in Canto 5, we have all of these examples Canto 5 of Hell. The spirit evil born instead of the evil born spirit. One more example. Do not impede his journey fate ordained. In other words, do not impede his fate ordained journey. One more. So doth that blessed the spirit maledict. Approaching us athwart the air malign. Uh, and then I put there between parentheses, right? Athwart, that is Christ, crosswise. And malign, that is evil. Approaching us. Athwart, the air malign. Or in other words, the malign air, right? One more. O living creature, gracious, gracious and Benignant. Since thou hast pity on our O perverse, perverse O, of course, seize this man for the person beautiful. And as soon as I had heard those souls tormented, instead of tormented souls, I bowed my face. <laughs> 